Hi everyone, I want to have a look today at uh, Lumion, uh, specifically re-importing a model uh, from the same file name and then uh, when the geometry has changed, maybe you want to have a different file name and then also we want to have a look at saving material sets that we can present to a client as either options for materials or otherwise for uh, automatically applying to another model when you re-import it. I'm starting off in Revit and I'm going to export one of these uh, Revit models and I'm placing that in the directory that I will be working in I'm going to call this file for argument's sake that one and then within Lumion we can place this file by going to the object placement there we can import a new model and we can look for this model in our directory that we've just created, there's that one we can open, we can accept that to add to the library additionally we can also choose to have a subset within that library when we place it but to illustrate We'll just use it in the default folder. There we go. There we go. So we've lifted up the model a little bit, and there it is. Next, we go back to Revit. And to illustrate, I'll copy this table just to the outside there, and then export once again. And this time I'm going to save it as exactly the same name, that one dot DAE and we'll replace it so that within Lumion we can re-import it. Now if you've chosen to do something else and maybe you had uh, placed an object uh, maybe some different object that we have placed, then clearly the original object won't be current anymore there's a bit of fruit that I'm placing on the floor there just go and select the, so go into the move mode make sure you select the model that you're interested in go back to the objects in place mode hit the library select that object press escape and re-import our model and there we can see it's come in with a table and that is now our second file that came in there So what if we have a new file with a new name? So maybe this is quite a big party that is going on here and uh, let's have a second table next to this. Now we can have a large party outside and we go export and we can choose the name to be tat2 and within Lumion now if you want to update the file with this new tat2 file then we would once again just make sure that it's the correct model that we are working with and then we press ALT hold ALT in and re-import from a new file TAT2 right so now our party is getting set we've got two tables that are there and we can now work with our um, new file just a note that 
if you did bring in a brand new file, uh, let's say that this still isn't enough and we want to have a bigger party and then we'll save this out as tat3 note that when you do bring it into Lumion, so let's suppose there's more than one house in this vicinity and these guys next door are having even a better party then we can go and say let's bring in an object and all I want to show to you here import new model that when you do bring in the new model and this is kind of new within 2018 you can choose to have a new category make it a bit bigger there is suburbia and it's that three in suburbia and we say thanks very much add to library and then we we place this one there it is and move it up a bit all right so that's also new within Lumion 8 If you were to place this object, when we select an object, you'll see that we've got main, furniture, house import, and now suburbia. So that allows you to create different categories for the models that you bring in. So much for importing and re-importing models. The workflow is the same whether it is a DAE file or whether it is a DWG file. And you can update these models as such. So what about the material sets? So this is quite simple to illustrate. And all we're really going to do is say, all right, let's apply some materials. First of all, we would like to have on our wooden surface over there some wood. And that is also some wood. And then we've got some glass. There's a pure glass material. There we go. All right. So option one, we accept that. Option one has some wooden material. We can see here that the computer has applied some glass to the table. But it will, let's just quickly change that. Why not? Materials change that to glass. Right, so we've got a wooden table and we've got some bluish glass that is appearing over here. The way that we create the material set is you click on any one of these materials now and then you go to the menu and here you can see material set and we can save this material set. I'm going to save this material set as our option one. So mat option one. Material 
option one. And then I'm going to change some materials after I've created that material set. I'm going to say, look, I don't like this blue glass. I want red. And maybe I want a, a granite top. So if I choose my tabletop, maybe I want a bit of a stone finish on it, some of the granite. So indoor, there's a bit of stone. Um, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, not exactly what I'm looking for. Where's our fabric outdoor? There is a uh, stone. Let's go with the sort of a green marble. That doesn't look too bad. So red windows and green marble. And I can accept. And then afterwards, I once again click on one of the materials, any material, and create a material set. And this material set now we can also save. And I'm going to save that as material option 2. So at any time, if I want to switch out between the two, I go to my materials menu. I click on a material. I go to the menu, onto the material set, and I can load. There's material option one. If I open it, I can choose that I want to have those materials. Yes. And it overwrites it to option one. And I can also change that out to material option two. Simply by loading it in, and it will apply that materials to the model. Brilliant functionality, it works like a dream and it makes it so easy just to give a client different options on finishes. And let's see if we start a new project, can we also still use that material set? So we'll bring in one of these existing models there's our suburban house with the three tables. And immediately I can say, right, I want to apply a material set. So I go to my materials menu, I click on one of my materials, and click on any material, accept, and then once again, click on the material. Now I can go to the menu on the material set, I can load. I'm going to go with option two and open. And yes, and what it's doing is it's mapping those materials to the relevant Revit categories. If it were an AutoCAD file, it would map it onto the layers. So that's how simple it is. Um, it gives you great functionality, great ability to, at the click of a few buttons, give a client some fantastic options as to what materials they want to use. Some really fabulous technology at work here. And remember also that you do have this ability uh, when you do bring models in, uh, we've dealt with this in one of our earlier video blogs. Um, I'll include the link within the, this blog. If you just go to the written part, you'll see the link there to the, uh, to the um, version control within models. And you will see that at any one time you can add versions of a model that will allow you to show how a model is built up over time. Or perhaps to give you different options. And those you can also include as an effect within a movie. Uh, with the result that you can create some really fantastic content. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and that it uh, does clear up the um, how to bring in some models and how to apply material sets to models. And uh, I hope that uh, it goes towards uh, you enjoying Lumion but also making a great sale to your client and uh, that you can sell your concepts to people and give them the option of materials. Fantastic tool. Guys, enjoy Lumion. Until next time, have a great one.